Uh, but right now we are joined with Texas State head coach Danny Casper. Uh, the Bobcats are the number eight seed, and we'll play UT Arlington on the opening round on Thursday, March 12th at 5 p.m. Central Time and can be seen on ESPN3. If you have a question for Coach Casper, please dial star 1 on your phone at this time. Again, star 1 to get your questions in the queue. Uh, Coach, while we're waiting for that, would you mind starting us off with the opening statement? Okay, yeah. Well, we're pleased to be in the, in the Sundell Conference Tournament after, uh, you know, not making it that, uh, last year. Uh, you know, it's been a – we started off strong this year in conference play, and then we, we hit a slow there where uh, we lost some games. And we lost some games without uh, a key player, Wes Davis, on the perimeter who was out for three games. And that seemed to suck the confidence out of our team. And uh, – and, and, and we did not get it going until we had a home stretch there uh, where we played South Alabama. I think we lost two, and then we won two, if I'm not mistaken, uh, toward the end. Uh, we lost, we've lost. lost a lot of close games. I'm not necessarily, you know, uh, really disappointed, not only that we're losing, but not so much in that our players are giving great effort. Uh, we've lost a lot of close games by uh, one or two points, three points. And, uh, for example, we lost in a row both games by three. Uh, and in UTA, we, just, uh, we were up one on them with three minutes to go at their place and down two with about four, 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 four and a half. And so I, I, I think our players feel like they can, they can make some waves in this tournament if we could uh, maybe shoot a little bit better percentage and, and continue to uh, defend like we have been doing. And, uh, Secondly, we have to we have to shoot the ball a little bit better if we're going to make some plays. Uh, uh, we like these last few losses we've had. I I was somewhat pleased with our players' effort in, in defense, but I was, uh, just missed some shots that we got we got to hit it to make we're going to make some plays in this term. So I'll open it up for questions after that. Thank you, Coach. Uh, we appreciate it. Um, our first questions come from uh, Randy with the uh, Sun Belt Digital Network. Uh, Randy, please go ahead. Hey, Coach, how you doing? Good. Thank you, Randy. How are you? I'm doing good. Um, specifically, I want to talk to you about the matchup with UT Arlington. They play a, you know, very up-and-down pace type of game, and, um, you know, your team has been known for its defensive prowess on the season. I mean, what's specifically about the matchup with UT Arlington? What you guys have to do to win that game? Well, I think a big thing is we got to stop their fast break, and we particularly got to – got to can't let Lonnie McClanahan, who is a very good basketball player, uh, hurt us like he has, uh, you know, the last two games. Uh, they they use a lot of weapons, but in particular, Lonnie has hurt us, and uh, that that's a key player we need to stop. Uh, they did they did get some fast break points on us here, more so than they did at their place, and uh, and they did out rebound us here, where I think, if I'm not mistaken, we won the battle at their place. So uh, you know. We feel like we have to stop them from getting to the basket uh, and maybe make them get more outside shots in order to win this game. All right, thanks, Coach. Appreciate your time. Okay, thank you, Randy. Thank you, Randy, and uh, thank you, Coach. That is all the questions we have for you today. We do appreciate your okay. time, and uh, best of luck in the first all round. Right, thank you.